what's up y'all i want to make this video because <clears throat> it's been something that's been on my mind for a long time something that i experienced and i know probably i don't know if women look at this or maybe men look at this maybe y'all been guilty of doing it maybe y'all gotta excuse my lips Maybe men been guilty of doing it. But, um, it's about jealousy. You know, like, um, sorry if it's taking me a long time to get it together. Like, um, I had different guys that I met, you know, and sometimes i always came to the relationship and brought something to the table i never came in a relationship and came empty-handed never that was never me i always carried my own weight i always took i always took care of my own kids i never bummed off of a nigga or bummed off of a man so by me coming to the table with my you know coming with my end of the stuff it seemed like sometimes i would get criticized for it and i'm gonna give you a prime example i was with one dude and we were both moving out of our parents houses i came with a house full of furniture after maybe i'm gonna even say a month or two living together a month he started destroying all the shit tearing up the radios cutting the cords breaking the tvs you know what i'm saying and i couldn't understand like you know if i was a, a bum ass chick that didn't have nothing what would you break you know what i'm saying it wouldn't have nothing to break you wouldn't have nothing to destroy but because i came with furniture you destroy it i couldn't understand that but i was young and then you know as i got older you know what i'm saying i experienced um I be I I this is the thing. I'm not going to say I'm ashamed of it, but I have not yes, I have had to pay regular rent, $635. I had to pay real rent at once upon a time. But because I had got sick, you know what I'm saying? I had became eligible for section 8. And um I was I have always been criticized a lot for being on section 8. You know what I'm saying and one of my kids fathers used to always attack me and be like, "Yeah, you just living off the government." You know what I'm saying? You 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 ain't doing nothing. You living off the government take care of you. You know what I'm saying? Just real mean comments that make it seem like I wasn't <laughs> that made it seem like you know really like the government was really taking care of me. But in reality, no, the government was not taking care of me. The only thing is, while you're paying $1,200 rent, my rent is $1,200 too. But I only got to come out of pocket maybe $300. That's the difference. It doesn't mean because I'm on Section 8, you know what I'm saying, and the government is really taking care of me. Because in real reality, I have to pay lights. I have to pay gas. I have to pay water. I have to pay cable. I have to pay internet. My bills add up just like anybody else's. But because I'm labeled under having Section 8, I don't know why I get attacked. And this is not only from him. It's from a lot of people think that because we're Section 8, like we're nasty people and... We live filthy and we live in poverty. No. I can't understand the difference between. And this was another thing. He had a girlfriend that had her own house and she lived in Detroit. Okay. She bought her house in Detroit. She fixed her house up. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? I got a house in the suburbs. I have to fix my house up too. What's the difference between me and her? We There is no difference. You know what I'm saying? There's no difference. The only difference is she bought her house. I paid $300 a month for my house. I still had to fix my house up. You know how much it costs to fix my house up? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't. I don't get where people down other people because they're on a section eight. I think that's so like 
stupid because when you really look at it just because they're on section eight does not mean that they're living worse they're living easier or worse than you we still all have the same bills there's no difference one thing that pisses me off is people think that section eight people you know like let me tell you something i had a job when i graduated I bought a car when I graduated. I went to college when I graduated. And I did not get my degree right then and there. But I got my degree years later. After my accident. So. And I was going to get a, I was gonna get a bachelor's degree in social work. But I changed my mind because I didn't want to go into debt with all that student loans. So I changed my mind. I did something different with my life, you know what I'm saying, where I made money in a different way. I did not go down the road and work for other people. I worked for myself because I wanted to be my own boss, and it worked for me. You know what I'm saying? And I don't understand, like, now and where I'm at in life. No, I don't own my own home. I don't. But I have a very nice home. My children have a very nice beautiful place to stay my children don't lack for nothing they're not living in filth we're not living in the hood on the east side on the west side on dexter we not we not living like that we live in the suburbs in a pretty decent neighborhood with with good quiet neighbors we don't live around no ghetto no type of ghettoness and no my house is not nasty as hell how some people think that section eight people is my house is very up to date and nice when you walk in my house you see nice stuff like you will not think that I'm a section 8 tenant. So people that label us as being nasty neighbor, I mean nasty people and people don't want to rent to us because when you say section 8 you think about a, a nasty chick with a whole bunch of kids that mess up your house. I don't let my kids mess up my house. My kid, my child, my one child right now, he cleans his room up every day. If you junk it up, you clean it up. You know what I'm saying? Just because I'm Section 8, I buy cleaning products. I buy Lysol. I buy Fabuloso. I buy SOS pads. I buy bleach. You know what I'm saying? I buy good uh, soap detergent to wash the clothes. I buy toilet paper, paper towel. We use paper plates and, and uh, forks because I, I don't. I hate washing dishes. Um... Me and my child both own cars, nice cars. So the the thought that people have of section people being on section 8 to think that we don't want nothing better in life, that's like very ignorant because we struggle the same way that people who own houses we we live the same identical way. If something breaks in my house, I have to replace it. Like I'm going to just use for example, my toilet broke. I had something sitting on top of the toilet and it was something glass and it fell inside the toilet and it broke the toilet. I had to buy a whole new toilet and replace it. What would be the difference if I was a homeowner and I lived in a house and I broke my toilet? I'm going to have to replace it. Uh, one of my windows broke. I had to replace it. There's no difference from the way a Section 8 person live versus a person that's buying their house. The only difference is in the end, you're going to own your home. In the end, I'm not going to own my own home. And you know, so if 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 something major breaks, like the furnace or the, the water tank, I don't have to come up out of my money to replace it. That's the benefit, you know, or if appliance break, a refrigerator, a stove, a washing machine, a dryer, you know, because all that was included in my house. If that breaks... I'm not responsible for it. My landlord is responsible for it. But anything that breaks in the house, like a window or a toilet or anything like that, or the tile get messed up by by me, I I have to replace that. So I don't get where people think that. Um, I don't get where people think that Section Eight people is just we just bums. You know, we we don't have no type of standards. We don't want anything. Not all Section 8 people is like that. So, if you know somebody on Section 8, before you go shooting off your mouth, make sure you look into their life. You know? 
because when you walk into when you walk inside my house you wouldn't have a, a you wouldn't have a tiny clue that i have section eight you wouldn't you would look at my house and you would think that i worked eight hours every day or i'm buying my house and you you wouldn't know you wouldn't know it's except for by me telling you like this you know you wouldn't look at my car and be like oh you wouldn't look in in my living room and be like oh you wouldn't you can't tell and i just hate it and I know it's a lot of men. I don't know if men hate on women because they're mad that they have to pay mortgage and they don't have it easy as, you know, some moms have it, you know, because some moms with kids, they do get breaks. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if they, it's a jealous thing, but it's, it's so petty, you know, it's so petty. It's so petty. I work hard for my stuff. I do. I haven't always been where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? And maybe I have slipped up on some stuff. <clears throat> maybe I have slipped up on some stuff by mistake or by accident trying to do one thing. And then I end up doing this and then I got stuck with something. You know what I'm saying? But I honestly did everything honestly. I didn't lie about no thing, nothing to get anything. I never lied about nothing. You know how you got some schemers out here and scammers and what they call them, uh, swipers. I didn't get none of my stuff like that. I had to get my stuff legit and legally. And I guess that's what that's the part that makes me mad about people where they don't understand. I didn't scheme. You know, I didn't. I did it the, the regular way, the way that anybody else would do it, either cash or credit. So, because I, I struggle and I, I have to I have to take care of my household the same way any other person that go to work eight hours have to take care of their household. You have to shop for household stuff. I have to shop for household stuff. I didn't get nothing easy. I don't I don't get where these people think that just because you have Section 8, it, you get an easy card. It's not easy. You know what I'm saying? I don't get a I don't get a bridge car. I have gotten a bridge car, but I don't get a bridge car. But when I did get one, I used it sufficiently, like how I was supposed to, and <clears throat> bought food. But trust and believe, it only lasted what a couple of maybe a month or two when it was cut off, and then I was right back to paying cash for food. I struggled just like anybody else. So don't think people with Section Eight got it better than others. No, we don't. Our rent is just cheaper than yours. That's the only benefit right there. We still gotta pay insurance, full coverage insurance for cars, life insurance, renters insurance, cell phone bills. We still gotta pay everything. We still gotta shovel off snow. We still gotta cut grass. We still gotta rake leaves. Ain't nothing different but the rent. So remember that next time somebody mentions a Section 8 person to you, stop thinking that they less. They not less. They just like you. The only difference is their rent is cheaper than yours.